Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 19th of 2020. Well, it is titled UGC 12591, the fastest rotating galaxy known. So what do we see here? Well, this is a an example of a galaxy and what type of galaxy it is is actually can be a little bit questionable. It looks a lot like a spiral galaxy. And we can see the dark dust lanes, but we're not really looking at it close enough to face on to be able to see the exact structures that are there. But it also has a great halo around it, uh, which is this big bulge of stars around it. And that is associated with another type of galaxy called a lenticular galaxy. And these are galaxies that also have a flat disk like our, uh, our Milky Way or other spiral galaxies, but do not have a lot of the gas and dust associated with it. So this seems to be some kind of different galaxy, or maybe something more unusual is going on with it. Now it's also known for being now the fastest rotating galaxy ever discovered and it spins at nearly 500 kilometers every single second. And just for comparison, that's about twice the speed of our Milky Way galaxy. And understanding these rotations helps us to understand the mass of these galaxies. The faster a galaxy rotates, the more mass is needed to be able to hold it together. So the spinning is trying to rip the galaxy apart if you think about it that way. And the gravity is trying to hold the galaxy together. And if it's spinning too fast, it should be tearing itself apart and galaxies like this one should not exist because they are spinning far too fast for the amount of material that we can see. And this is one of the things that has led us to the idea of dark matter. Dark matter is a substance that exists around the galaxies and is needed to account for the fact that the galaxies are not ripping themselves apart and they still exist, even though there is insufficient matter to account for their rotational rates. So dark matter appears to exist in just about every galaxy. Although some galaxies which spin faster would have more dark matter than others. The dark matter is in a great halo around the galaxy. So it's not within the galaxy we see it itself, but actually spread around it a little more uh, evenly distributed, not concentrated in the matter as the galaxy is. But it is needed to account for the actual observations that we see because based on our understanding of gravity, these rapidly spinning galaxies should not exist. Now as we look through the image we see lots of other objects as well. There are a few stars which are stars within our own Milky Way which just happen to be in the same direction as this galaxy. And we also see dozens and dozens of other galaxies far beyond this galaxy itself. So we can see some other small spiral galaxies scattered around and other types of galaxies as well throughout this image. And in fact, with the exception of a few stars that you can see just about everything that we're seeing in an image like this is actually another distant galaxy. This galaxy is only about 400 million light years away and that is the large galaxy we're looking at. However, many of these other galaxies would be much further than that away well behind this galaxy and just happening to be in the same direction in the sky. So that was our picture of the day for February the 19th of 2020. It was titled UGC 12591 the fastest rotating galaxy known. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.